Unpack the reservoir from the sterile packaging. Place the reservoir in the auto start function until it clicks into place. Close the clamp to avoid forgetting it later on when you connect it with bloodline. Check vacuum components by starting from filter paper. Check at the bottom of the modular vacuum pump if the filter paper is new. Open the cassette and pull the flap forward. Exchange the old filter paper for a new one, close it and push it back to start position. Connect the hydrophobic filter to the space provided, the small hole, at the upper space of the modular vacuum pump. The hydrophobic filter can be connected to the smoke filter via the ATV vacuum line 70. The smoke filter can be connected to the overfill protector with the ATV vacuum line 180. Finally, the overfill protector can be connected to the ATR reservoir, yellow cap, via the ATV vacuum line 70. The double lumen suction line must be unpacked and prepared at the sterile field. Open the outer packaging. The sterile nurse should take the inner sterile packaging without touching the outer blister pack. The ATS suction line can be unpacked and prepared with suction tip at the sterile field. The reservoir connection and drip chamber with spike should be handed out to the anesthesia team over the towel. Prepare 30,000 units heparin per 1 liter of isotonic saline solution. Connect the adapter to one of the reservoir ports, blue cap. Connect the drip chamber to anticoagulant solution bag using the spike. Adjust vacuum via the touch screen to minus 100 millimeter mercury. When suction has begun, open the roller clamp below the drip chamber and prime the suction line and the filter with 250 milliliters of anticoagulant. We recommend heparin. Afterward, adjust the flow to 60 drops per minute. Monitor how blood is being aspirated from the wound to the reservoir. Aspiration of too much air in the suction tip can activate clotting and causes hemolysis. Please keep in mind that red cells are very sensitive to shear forces. 